area of a sector. So what is a sector? A sector is a part of a circle enclosed by a radius or radii and an arc. So this is an arc. Let's see, this is an arc. And these are the two radii. So this is radius. This is also radius. And this is arc. So the area enclosed between two radii and an arc is called a sector. So this area is called a sector. So there's a neat formula for area of a sector. So if this is the angle that the sector makes at the center, so this is called the angle at the center, which is a theta. So the area of a sector is area of a sector this formula may be given in your formula sheet but it's a very neat formula to understand would be theta divided by 360 times the area of the circle which is pi times radius squared this is the area of circle and this is theta divided by 360 now this is a fraction which tells you this is how much of the circle so this is a fraction okay so let me explain this formula in it in an easy way okay suppose this is a this is angle and the angle at the center is right angle so the theta here is 90 degree if theta is 90 degree now this is the radius or these are the radii so use your common sense what's the area of this sector this part well without any formula you can say you that is a quarter of a circle. So area of this sector would be a quarter of pi r squared or area of the circle. Now think about this. A quarter is same as writing 90, which is theta divided by 360. 90 divided by 360 is a quarter. Okay, now if someone is asking, what's the, suppose this is a circle with center, this is a center what's this this is also a sector okay now this sector has a special name this is called a semicircle this is a semicircle now what is the area of a semicircle so the area of a semicircle well is half the area of the circle which is half times the area of circle which is pi r squared now what is this angle that is formed at the center this angle is how many degrees? This theta is, well, this is 180 degree. So this half can also be written as 180 divided by 360. So basically 360 is a full turn. So if you go 180 divided by 360, that's half. And that's half of the area of the circle. And that's what this formula is telling you. This is this gives you the fraction of the circle which the sector is okay so this is theta divided by 360 gives you what is this sector as a fraction of the circle so let us make up an example so here this angle say let's say this angle is say 70 degrees and the radius is say 10 centimeters the radius is 10 centimeters and we want to find the area of this sector so well the area of this sector a for area would be formula is theta that is 70 divided by 360 times pi times radius squared which is 10 squared so you're doing this on a calculator this is 70 times pi times 10 squared divided by 360. You can do this on a calculator directly. So let's go 70 times uh, pi times 10 times, so let me do it, times 10 squared. Uh, let me delete this, time, divided by 360. 70 times pi times 10 squared divided by 360, which is 61.09. I'm rounding this to two decimal places. 
I'm looking at the third decimal place, which is 6. So I have to increase this by 1. So 61.09. What should be the unit? 61.09. If you write 61.09, this is wrong. Okay, because this doesn't make any sense because you haven't written the unit. You're writing area, and here the length is centimeter. So the unit would be centimeter squared. If you don't write this, this is wrong. 